What's up music makers, it's Luke from Sojourner Tracks and I'm here today with another installment of Two Minute Tips where I try to answer specific questions in logic, in, around, but generally not even close to the two minute mark. Today we're talking about phase and polarity. Now this is a really terrible subject to try and tackle in two minutes, but I'm gonna try it anyways, so here we go. Let's take a listen to this kick drum. I've got a kick in and a kick out, so uh, two different mics on the same kick drum. Pretty awful, right? And uh, for those of you who might be just getting started um, with audio production, you might not be able to put your finger on why, but you know that it sounds bad. Um, and any time you have a single source with multiple sources of audio, so any time you've got a guitar cab with uh, multiple mics on it, any time you've got a bass guitar where you're doing like a DI and an amp with a mic on it, but any time, especially with uh, drums, so live drums where you might have eight plus microphones capturing the same performance. You need to be aware of phase and polarity. Um, so the way that we do this in Logic is um, let's get real close, get down to the granular level here. We wanna look at the waveform up close to see how these two parts are interacting. Now you have this line running through the middle and that's zero. So Below the line is negative, above the line is positive, and that's our polarity. So um, we've got negative polarity going into positive polarity, and then of course this is happening over time. So how this is shifting up and down, negative and positive over time, that is the phase. And any time that you have uh, a single performance with multiple sources of audio, and so especially when you're when you're talking about multiple microphones, you want those things, the phase, so the timing, and the polarity, the negative or positive, to be in alignment with one another. And especially, like I said, kick drums, snares, um, bass, guitar. Sometimes you can get away from that um, with some other instruments. It's not quite as important with guitars and, and other things, but especially um, with kick drums and bass, this has a adverse effect on bass frequency. So this may have been a source of some serious frustration for you in the past. Maybe that's why you're here. Um, you've been doing everything you can with EQs and it's not working. It might be because you have a phase uh, problem that you need to address. And the ways that you do this, so like I said, you want these to match up. You want the timing to match up as well as the polarity. So if we look at these two parts, you can see that this is actually a little ahead. And that's where you're going to get some of that flamming effect if these parts are out of time. Um, and what, well, there's a couple different ways that you can do this. So you can move it, which is what I like to do. I'll just move it. Make sure that they line up, you know, check, check a couple different spots. Make sure that you're getting it accurate as close as you can. Nothing's going to be perfect, but um, I like to just drag the audio because then I can actually see what's happening. But you could also use the sample delay and you could move it, uh, move that part behind in samples or milliseconds, however you want to do it, and you could just play with it until it sounds correct. But let's give this a listen. Huh, still sounds terrible. In fact, it sounds much, much worse. The reason for that being we fixed the phase. So the, the phase is now in alignment. These are you know, they're happening in time with each other, these two parts, but you'll notice that the polarity is off. So we're starting out up here with positive energy to negative to positive to negative polarity. You'll see on this bottom source, 
we have the exact opposite. We're starting off with negative polarity, moving to positive polarity. So the polarity is actually reversed. And the way that we can fix that is actually with the gain plugin. So you'll find um, under utility, gain. Uh, we're not going to use this for the gain knob, but it also has this phase invert button, which is going to flip the polarity. And if I hit that button, now listen. Much, much closer. I'll, I'll play a little bit more and move it in and out. You can see the polarity of ha of the two sources has to be correct. Otherwise, you're essentially just canceling the audio out. So um, when you have the phase aligned, but the polarities off, you're essentially you have nothing because the two sources are canceling each other out. So um, between phase alignment and polarity, you may have. Uh, unknowingly stepped into some really frustrating situations. So I hope this helps you sort those out. If you feel like this content has been a benefit to you, you don't have to smash the like button. You're going to break something. All you have to do is click it. I would really appreciate it. And if you're looking for other ways you can support the channel and what I'm doing here, head on over to SojournerTracks.com. There will be a link in the description below. You can grab yourself some of my free guides as well as the 2020 edition of my Producer Proverbs Tips series. And I will leave links to my Patreon page where you can grab yourself some exclusive content over there as well. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.